Hey guys, welcome back to Cyber Geek. In today's episode, we are going to see the part two of Android penetration testing lab setup. Now, today what we're gonna talk about is that remember if you have seen the previous video i have shown you all those bunch of other emulators now one thing you have to know about that is that if uh, all of them are uh, will work for you okay but the problem is not that the working is not the problem over here the issue is that if you run bobsuit on that if even if i have run bobsuit uh, on this also like for example i have this vmware android one application it will work fine okay you will be able to monitor traffic of your mobile phone if you set up all the proxies and all but the issue was not that we have to monitor a particular application traffic over there right for in this case we are going to monitor a uh, traffic of nike application over here okay so i'm just opening my bub suit right now so i'm going to show you guys that yes we can monitor this traffic but to monitor a particular application we need to set up certain things in our device and i recommend you guys please use emulators do not go and uh, 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 destroy your uh, what is that uh, a separate phone which you have extra mobile phone keep it that safely because in that you will get updates and all because recently in my uh, the extra phone which i have i have recently updated it with something a new software came, update came out so see you have that extra uh, phone with you. You can try a bunch of payloads on those. Uh, you can try all your exploits which you are going to create in a real time on a real mobile phone. How it's gonna work in scenario on on the emulator side. Also, you can do the same thing. But here we can test our Android penetration testing for applications. Now, okay, I'm just gonna give over here next. Uh, start Bob suit. Now it is starting over here. Okay. What I'm showing you is that just uh, look at it. Now, first thing is that uh, if your emulator is working, okay, fine, good. I hope it is uh, opened for you people. Now, what you have to do is that the bob suit is open, right? Now, look for proxy. Here is the proxy, and below the proxy, you will see options. Now, come over here and you have to press add. Now, once you paid add over here, it will ask for a specific IP address, right? Click on it. Now 127.0.01 is your loopback IP address. We do not need that. Here 192.168.43.130. That's my Kali Linux IP address. I'm gonna give port number over there. Bind to port 8080, and I'm gonna click over there. Okay. Good to go. And beside that options, you can see intercept. Go and click on it. Now you will see something like this. The intercept is on. Click on off for now. Now come to your emulator go over there okay no 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 over there. just scroll down go to settings in the setting what you have to do is that just wait a bit yeah go to your Wi-Fi click on it uh, double click and hold it this one yeah you will get this modified network click on that now what you have to do you, uh, I have already set up okay so I'm just gonna show it to you yes. so if it is uh, like this you will get something like this none click on manual okay then in the proxy host name type your kali linux ip address and your proxy port number 8080 and save it okay now once you save it and go back you are good everything is done now if you go on chrome okay and if you run uh, for example you try to browse on it for example just let it get open okay no 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 it's opening my gmail account just wait a bit yesterday i was doing something with those um, bypassing and all so i was testing something else now i'm just gonna go and look for like a, how to heck okay now in my case it is working but in your case it will say not private network or something like that issue you will get so how to solve that one is that in the browser go and type htt sorry http colon slash slash forward slash then b u r p so you can see that right b u r p hit enter now remember this url will only work if your uh, wi-fi proxy is set and your bob suit which means basically it is open at that moment okay and your proxy over here is also set up if you do not set up this and uh, if you do not set up proxy in your wi-fi and you type this url you will get nothing it will say some kind of uh, error and it doesn't exist what you have to do you have to click over here on this ca and download it 
once you download it go to downloads uh, okay it's not showing over here I guess I've moved the file so okay so once you download after you have to do just go back go to your file manager and just go and check your download folder so you will get this one cscrt.der and just double click on it and it will uh, set up to your like if I double click on it like this you see it is asking for my pin number so I'll just give my pin number and yeah it will ask you for certificate name so just give uh, I'll just give Bob or anything you like and hit ok now you can see Bob is installed which means certificates has been set up now if you go on the chrome and if you wait a bit and if you type how to hack just like how i did it will start working for you okay so it will start working now i'll just go back once again and i'll turn on the intercept over here okay now my intercept is also on and i am now going to perform uh, going to search now one thing you have to notice over here is that when you start the search it will not move forward even if you spend 5 to 6 minutes or 10 minutes or 1 hour it is not gonna work why because your pop suit has to give the permission which means you call it as forward you see over here I will zoom out this one A request to http www.google.com443 and your IP address over here. I think this is the device IP address. I hope so. I have not seen it. And if I click over here, forward, I have to forward the request. Forward the request and forward the request. So you can see how many requests you have to forward it over here, right? So you just click, keep on clicking on it. Forward, 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 forward. Okay. That's it. We have opened it this one. Now, you see over here like for example i want to watch this youtube video now what happens okay so uh mistakenly i have uh, did the refresh i guess yes and you can see it is not loading so what i wanted to show you guys is that if you click on drop over here click on drop 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 just keep on clicking what is happening over here is that see the request was dropped by user over here you see that we, we are not monitoring this okay so we, we do not want to monitor we do not want to uh, monitor that packet or we do not want to forward that uh, request basically what the particular user is looking for okay you can see at half it is has stopped and when i uh, do the forward over here keep on clicking on the forward now you can see it is working and i can easily monitor what that particular person is watching over here now just keep on uh, slowly you click on the forward and see uh, just keep on clicking now you see http www.youtube.com now you can see there is a request for youtube over here now if i click on keep on clicking now you can see the youtube has opened right now let's go back i don't want to play that video so see this is how your bob shoot will work with this but we do not want to do that right we do not want to do uh, uh, a, a, for a browser like this we want to test our applications we want to find the vulnerabilities on those applications we want to do bug bounty i hope where it is going you are getting it right now we want to find a bug in a particular application or something like that and we want to um, report that to the developer and we want to get bounties for those so we are going to do that in the next video okay so now i hope how this bob or stuff like that will work with all the emulators which is gonna work on your system okay so we will meet in the next video with uh, the actual purpose of this android penetration testing lab so see you guys in the next video till then goodbye